Hundreds of migrants and refugees waited outside a United Nations center in Tripoli on Sunday. They were there to seek help in escaping Libya after what aid groups call a violent crackdown in which thousands were arrested and several shot. Pavement, some wounded and all hungry. Hundreds of migrants and refugees sought help outside a United Nations centre in Libya's capital on Sunday. A week ago, armed forces in Tripoli began what aid groups call a violent crackdown. At least 5,000 migrants were detained in a series of arrests and killings. Libya is the transit location for people looking to flee to Europe for a better life. But as Sudanese migrant Mohammed Omar tells Reuters, there's been little peace to be found there in the last decade. And he says refugees face discrimination, abuse and worse. Immoral practices like beating, imprisonment and subjection to torture. As refugees, we should be protected by all means. The Libyan state and government is unqualified in protecting refugees, especially those with black skin who face racism and pressure more than they should. On Friday, guards in a migrant detention centre killed at least six people as overcrowding led to chaos, prompting many to flee the area. The UN Refugee Agency said it was trying to help people waiting outside its centre and that it was ready to arrange humanitarian flights for them out of Libya. That's all Eritrean migrant Nadia Abdul Rahman wants. After a gang killed her husband, she was arrested last week in a migrant clampdown. We only want one thing and that is to not live in Libya. Musa Kony, one member of the three-person Presidency Council that acts as head of state, said Saturday he intervened with the Interior Ministry to end this suffering. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.